Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Here's an item on algebra. Find the sum of all possible real numbers x such that x is equal to 2022 times the fractional part of x. So this one, it is the fractional part of x, the x enclosed in the braces. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. All right. So here is another equation that involves the fractional part of x. And whenever we do have an item like this, we always want to consider trying to make this equation in terms of maybe writing down in terms of floor of x or the integer part of x, as well as the fractional part of x. Now, we do have the nice property that x is equal to the fractional, sorry, the floor of x plus the fractional part of x. So I'm going to substitute this x as the floor of x plus the fractional part of x. So essentially, I'll be getting the floor of x is equal to 2021 times the fractional part of x. Now, we could use some bounding here because there is a range of values for the fractional part of x. It's going to be this one. Oops, sorry. It's going to be this one. So the fractional part of x must be greater than or equal to 0, obviously, and must be less than 1. It's kind of obvious as well. So obviously, the fractional part of x would be 0 if x is an integer. But obviously, it can't be greater than 1 because it is the decimal part, right? It is a decimal part. It can't exceed 1. So it can't be, it can't, um, it must be less than 1. That's what I meant to say. So uh, with this condition, uh, fractional part of x within this range, that's going to tell me that the floor of x must be greater than or equal to 0 times 2021, which is 0, and then less than 1 times 2021, and that's just 1. All right, so just kind of some inequalities here. And that's pretty good because that's going to allow me to say that, all right, I know that floor of x must be an integer because it's called the integer part for that reason. So I know that floor of x would have to be, well, it can be 0, can be 1, can be 2, all the way until values, all the way until 2020. So I could just kind of write a table down for floor of x and the fractional part of x. And well, I know that if I add these two, I'll get, equal, I'll get x. So I'll also include that as well. So um, if the floor of x is 0, substituting into the original uh, equation, I'll get that the fractional part of x is 0. If floor of x is 1, the fractional part of x is 1 divided by 2021. If, if the floor of x is 2, 2 over 2021 for the value of the fractional part. And you can kind of see that there is this nice pattern all the way until the last one, 2020 divided by 2021 for the value of the fractional part of x. Now, um, obviously, I would have to add these two, uh, add these possible pairs to get all the possible values of x. And uh, the question asks us to sum up the possible values of x. So I believe I could do this uh, more efficiently. I don't want to get the x one by one. I could kind of see that, oh, if I want to get the sum of all possible values of x, what I'm going to do is just add everything in the floor of x column and add everything in the fractional part of x column. Now, I'll just ignore the zeros here. So essentially, um, the blue sum, the floor of x's, it's just going to be the sum of the first 2020 positive integers. All right? And then I'll just have to add this with uh, the second column in the fractional part of x's. So uh, the second column is going to become just fractions. So 1 over 2021 plus 2 over 2021, and also and so forth until 2020 over 2021. So essentially what I have to do is just get the value of this one because this is essentially just going to give me the sum of all possible values of x. Rather nice that we have this nice formula. Sorry, not n. Uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way until n. So the sum of the first n positive integers. That's going to give n times n plus 1 divided by 2. That's going to be pretty good because uh, the blue sum just becomes 2020 times 2021 divided by 2. I could cancel the 2020 and the 2 nicely, so that's that. And then for the green sum, it's just going to be adding the numerators, but the numerators is just the, the numerators are just the first 2020 positive integers as well. So the sum of the numerators become 2020 times 2021 divided by 2 as well. And then we just have to additionally divide it by 2021 because that's the denominator in the original given. Now, same thing, I can cancel the 2020 and the 2. And additionally, I can cancel the 2021. So the green sum is actually just 1,010, right? So all I have to do is just get whatever the resulting thing here is and add it with 
the green sum, which is 1010. So uh, the blue uh, the blue sum, 1010 times uh, 2021, that's going to be equal to 2,041,210. And then for the green sum, as mentioned, it's just 1010. So taking the sum of these two, we're going to get our answer uh, 2,042,000. 220 and this will be our final answer right so that's going to be some that's going to be the sum of all possible real values of x hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye